All right, that's all right. I'm adding a, a, a third video now because um, now that I've been in your site, I don't see um, what should be a home page for you. You may have a reason for that, so I'm not going to change it. Um, but I am going to show you how to do it if, if this is what you want. So a, a normal module is set up like this with this as your home page. And then these buttons um, become active. OK, um, right now, this is not what you have. Um, and here's the reason that you want it. This is the first page that they come to when they come to your site. And then if your module structured like I showed you before, then all your students need to do is hit this next button and they step right through the module as you've designed it. OK. Again, you can add pages. That doesn't matter. What matters is it's all programmed into um, the structure of the module the way that I showed you. OK, so let me go here. Let me show you what you got when you, we hit yours 112 it comes to this page and there's no way to advance to the next item okay so i'm going to recommend that you go up here and you click choose home page and then you change this okay so change it here now you are looking at all the pages the individual pages in this module and you can start to see what I was trying to avoid in an earlier video about it'll start just adding these and you got to get rid of them at some point not now uh, but let's look for you have too many pages in here uh, And hopefully you'll be able to find this much quicker than I am. Home page right there. So if you click on that, then that's going to take you to the modules uh, layout page. I'm not going to do that. I'll let you do that. Now, let me show you what happens here. Go back in here. Go to 255. Uh, so here's my home page 255 I think we're working in module 7 now okay so if you go up here and um, you turn on edit now these become hot links okay so I can click on module 7 and now I can tell it where I want it to go and what I want to do is I want it to link to um, let's see if there is one in here I don't want it to link back to my home page. You, you can send it wherever you want to. Uh, so I don't have a seven done. Let me do module six introduction. I'll use yours. OK, it highlights like that. And now um, seven will be um, active. Let me show you what I mean. So save that. And now when I click on seven, I'm taken to this introduction page which is where i want to start all my modules all right so let me go back here um, at the same time i can uh, edit all this information i can make these things uh, links as well uh, let me go up there if we have a url uh, you can just highlight this mine's already highlighted so it has a link there and now if you go up to here, you can link to a URL. You can also link to files. Uh, so this works for your PDFs uh, and whatnot. So I'm going to cancel that. Um, and I'm going to recommend that you uh, definitely use this home page and use this modules. Now, what we've what you can do here, let's set up. Let's see if there's a course info there should be. So I want to send course info up to pages. Um, and now I'm looking for my page called, uh, there's my syllabus, welcome or course information. OK, so let me go here. It's going to send them to a welcome page. Um, the other thing that I would consider doing is 
set these up week by week like I've mentioned before and then you have a start and an end within this module and even if you leave them open which is fine um, things are still part you know sent out to the student or for them to to activate on a week by week basis okay so to that end because you don't want them to get confused wherever you're going to start here you can you can send all these buttons there as well so in this case so let's let's look at uh, we used 112 introduction um, so what I would do is wherever you guys wherever you want these guys to start because these would be all kind of dead modules just assign this same thing to all of them okay and then that way I'll save it that way other than course info which sends them to the welcome segment Go back when they click on all these modules you're going to send them right to where you want them to start now this will change obviously as you keep adding weeks and keep adding modules but this whole concept is give them a base page to start from make a predictable step-by-step -step, um, module that w they can get comfortable with and extract the information from and then they don't have to hunt and find this um, I hope that makes sense and uh, if I have anything else I'll try not to cut one of these videos I'm so sorry for that all right buddy I'll be in touch cheers